Hi, my name is Scott Lamb, Technical Sales Coordinator for Clipper Instrument Laboratories. Today's tech tip is Clipper's 1030 non-contacting miniature gap sensor. Basically what we have is supply pressure coming into our MAR-1-2 0 to 20 psi miniature regulator. Supply pressure always also comes down to the 2010 low pressure control valve and also supplying our TB2 toggle valve. We have the regulator set at approximately 5 psi going to the 1030 gap sensor. The output of the gap sensor is coming over to the pilot portion of the low pressure control valve. This is giving us an on output at this moment is why you see the cylinder extended. When we put something in the way of the gap, that is when we cancel the output on the low pressure control valve. Basically what we're demonstrating here is we're going to apply an air blast across the gap sensor, which is going to cancel the output. You'll notice when I flip the switch to activate the air blast, the cylinder will retract. I've activated the air blast, it's cutting off the gap sensor, turning off our low pressure control valve. Now if I block the air blast, I get an output out of the cylinder. First 1030 non-contacting miniature gap sensor.